Alright, so that we have our basic map query down. Um, let's go ahead and add some information here, uh, specifically to the amber area, um, and start uh, getting an underlay, possibly of some aerial uh, regional context from Amber campus to the Amber town center. Maybe overlay some streams and start showing you what you can do with uh, additional querying uh, specific to shape data. So first thing, I'm going to get the raster image connection. And so let's just call this Amber tiles. I've pulled down a set of aerial photos that are from 2010 from DVRPC. Um, and go ahead and browse to these. So GIS data sets. I have four of these here, and I'm going to add them one by one. Um, I could add them as a whole folder, but for the sake of breaking them up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and add these individually. So the one thing I know um, with the DVRPC aerial photos, and you may be aware of this too, is the coordinate system here is showing PA83 south, not south feet. Um, so what I want to show you is if I add this to map, I mean, most of us are fairly familiar with uh, Montgomery County and where Amber is being located at this point, and we see nothing. So if I come over here and select this data set, zoom to extent. So you can see I have Amber as a borough here correctly. Zoom down in on the town. But if I zoom out, you'll notice the context is wrong. The reason the context is wrong is because this is now attached state as meters. And we want to, uh, from Pennsylvania State, 83 as meters. So I'm going to come in here, back to my data connection. And I'm going to edit the coordinate system. So if I come over here, again, I'm in this uh, data connections palette. You can see this is PA83 state. I'm going to edit the coordinate system. PA83 South, and I'm going to set an override of this one to match what we're currently using. So PA83, oops, PA83 South, foot, select, OK. So you'll notice this would have worked if I did it first, but I already have it attached. If I collapse this, you'll notice it's gone. And now if I zoom to extent, Already start seeing our county labels here. Zoom out. You can see it's positioned proper in Montgomery County. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the remaining three aerial tiles. This time I'm going to add this as a folder so I can get all three of these at the same time. So let's go to documents. GIS data set. So select the topmost folder where they exist, connect. So the flexibility this gives me is now I can adjust these coordinate systems all together. So I already have 90 added. So I'm going to leave that unchecked. I'm sorry, 29. 90. So this one I'm going to leave unchecked. So now check the rest. Edit coordinate system. Double click. checked, we'll say add to map. Now, depending on where these images live, if they're on a network folder someplace, um, it can be time consuming for these to load up. Um, I think they're going to be relatively quick here. Um, and we should have our context that takes us all the way from the campus to downtown Amber. So, if you're familiar at all with this map, campus is right up here. So you'll notice that by default I have these groups and I connected these all together so I have a group here I'm going to call this aerials but I'm not limited to the fact that I connect those together. I can still take this one and add it to that group. So now I can toggle all of the aerials on or off in one step. 
So at this point, we're working on this area. And let's start atta attaching some of our stream data that we have. So connect the data. I already have my palette open, so I can just jump back here. Shape connection. Let's do rivers and streams. Data sets, fill it up here. Network streams, network streams. You'll notice that I have this folder is titled as data sets Philadelphia, and a lot of this is actually statewide data. So I have this highlighted. I want to immediately query this information. So from this drop down, if you have add to map, you want to add to map the query. So let's locate them on the map, touching any part of a rectangle, and I'm going to go entirely around my aerial images. So if you're familiar with the campus, you notice we have the two bounding creeks. So let's style these a little bit so that we get a little bit more accurate depiction of the stream. Let's make these light green color, or a light blue color. Let's give it a feature label. Let's leave this as device size so that we can maintain a t consistent size of the screen. Add label. And let's make these an eight of an inch, 6.125. We're going to also set these to a light blue. That is text. Don't want that. We want the name. Again, if you don't know what, the, what column it is that you want before coming into the style, once you load it, just come down here in your data table, find the column value that you want the label for. So I now have a tributary of the Second Creek. So again, this information is only as strong as what was fed to it. So we know we know that these aren't li actual true values of what the streams are called. I think Rose Creek. And I forget what the other bounding creek is, um, but we have labels nonetheless. So next piece of this, so we've, we've already queried now to location, but let's assume that we want to only show the Wissahickon Creek, and we don't want to show any tributaries. So we've got a name here, Wissahickon, and we have these are trib and then some name. So what we can do is we can query this based on what the text is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back over here to this data set, query to filter data, and I'm going to add to this. So I want it in this polygon, and, and I want a property of name to be like text value. So if we knew the exact piece that we wanted to include, we could put it in here. In our case, we want it to be like Wissahickon Creek. So W-I-S-S-A. Sorry. Okay. Takes a second, but you'll notice all the tributaries then go away. So there's many more options for querying this. So this is like Wissahickon Creek. So what we could do instead is it and name like, and we have an option to get values from a list. So at this point, this data set is a little bit too extensive for this to be valuable, but if you have a small data set, this can be helpful. So this is going to give us a list of everything that's within this data set. Unfortunately, it doesn't query this down to the region, so I have all of the streams in Pennsylvania here. So you can see this, is, this can be helpful for a short list. It's a little out of control when it's this long. But again, as I demonstrated, you can query it down to the name of the stream. There are also wildcards wild allowed, so let's say we didn't want Wissahickon Creek, we only wanted tributaries. So let's do this the other way. Query. So instead of like Wissahickon Creek, we're going to do 
to be like start with single quotation and you know it starts with trib <coughs> and the wild card for these searches since it's tributary something with a string of numbers after it is percent so if I do single quote trib percent say okay what we're then going to get is all the word tributaries but not with the hit itself so this can be applied to any set of data so if you were looking for um, all the rivers instead of all the creeks you could do a query where you would say I want to query all name like and make this backwards so we'll do percent river say okay and at this point you should assume that I'm going to lose everything because I know that I only have creeks in this view so if I back out here let's go ahead and zoom extents just to jump out to the whole county Right. So now if I want all the rivers in these areas, what I can do is I already changed my query to say I want it to start with something and end in river. So I can also update my polygon, my rectangle selection. So replace this, touching any part of a rectangle. Say OK. And you see now all I have is the rivers. So the Delaware River. The Schuylkill River, and over here, outside of Chester County, is the Conestoga River. Okay. So we also have tributaries in this case too. But that's a quick way to start filtering data based on name 